Picture this, a fire breaks out at a Panama City Beach condominium. You scramble to grab your family, your possessions, and escape. As you run down the stairs and out the burning building, the men and women of the fire department are bravely rushing in. In between those acts of valor, it takes a lot of training. Tonight in a News 13 special report, Jason Hackett takes us behind the fire line. Jason? Amy, from the heavy equipment to the physically draining task, it's not easy to do what these men do, especially when you never know what's next. On a cool, comfortable fall morning, these men are drenched in sweat. I think a lot of people uh, really don't understand how dangerous and how physical the job really is. <laughs> in just a few moments, you'll see why. Once you get used to These it. Panama City Beach firefighters, under the watchful yeah. eye of Captain Joe Coco, are constantly engaging in crucial firefighter training. Today, it's salvage and overhaul. They're looking for hidden fires, so a lot of times we'll go into where the uh, fire area was, and right around that area, we'll be pulling down the ceilings, uh, making holes in walls. It's pretty intense. It's a very physical and demanding job, um, but we enjoy it, and we're good at it. Armed with 65 pounds of gear, including boots, gloves, a helmet, and that all-important oxygen tank. Plug it up, take a breath. All right, now you're on air. We ventured to find out just how physical it really is. This gauge right here indicates your air pressure, mm -hmm. what you have in your bottle. When you get low, it'll start sounding off. All geared up, I slowly make my way in and receive my instructions. So we go across the sea. The first few strikes were hesitant. The thought of a ceiling collapsing over us wasn't flattering, but soon I got in rhythm. And with the help of my partners, I was able to take down the first large pieces. Very important to have teamwork throughout the day. In a moment's notice, each one of these uh, firefighters might have to rely on one another to save not only people's lives, civilians' lives, but might have to save their own lives. Teamwork is a big key, but self-preservation is another. As I worked my way through the house, I was wearing myself down quickly. The biggest challenge is going to be uh, conserving their air, controlling their breathing because they're doing a lot of physical uh, activity. Before long, my oxygen was out and I got the call. <laughs> In just under 10 minutes, I experienced one of the most physically demanding exercises around. In a real world scenario, their stay is much longer and has gotten more risky over the years. We're here in the aftermath of the drill. You can see I'm wearing this mask for my own protection. Now, firefighters say the nature of fighting fires has changed. Fires burn hotter, they burn faster, they burn better. So they have to change their methods in order to deal with the new types of material. They've gone to even metal studs and a lot of structures, commercial structures, which uh, is a lot weaker. And uh, they're real thin, get more prone to collapse of walls and such interior. Which is why these firefighters continue to work hard and train their minds and bodies for extreme scenarios. At a moment's notice, you're not, uh, not really sure what's going to happen, so you have to be in top-notch shape. Truer words have never been spoken when out of the blue, a sudden call demanded the firefighters' attention. Each fire, respond, motor vehicle crash, roll over uh -oh. in the area of 11 Minutes after training ended, a sudden and urgent call comes in. In part two tonight, you'll see how quickly these firefighters mobilize, and we'll show you the next training session, Search and Rescue.